three we're going with is in and out P. Terry's and Five Guys Burgers and Fries. We would consider them kind of like higher than the Burger King slash McDonald's of the world. 10, 39. Uh, we did an online order for Five Guys and it's like $31. Thank you. You too. We got it. Minus 100 points. You <laughs> wait so long. Meat is very dry. Oh. So, worst fry is... Hello, we have something special for you guys today. Christine's mama <laughs> is here in town. She hails from Japan and uh, specifically asked to eat Austin slash American burgers. So today we're gonna try three burgers at three different price points. Compare the burger and their fries. Three we're going with is In-N-Out, P. Terry's, and Five Guys Burgers and Fries. So they're similar in price, so I guess they're not drastically different price points, just three different burgers. We would consider them kind of like higher than the Burger King slash McDonald's of the world, kind of like the tier they're in. Okay, let's go. Okay, so first stop, In-N-Out. In-N-Out with the classic yellow zigzag. Hi, how are you? Good, and yourself? I'm good, thanks for asking me to serve you today. Of course, can I get two cheeseburgers uh, with all the toppings and then two fries? Thank you. So this is our first stop, In-N-Out. Thought I would drop some history on the three places while we wait for our order. In-N-Out started back uh, 1948 by Harry and Esther Snyder. So In-N-Out kind of has like a weird cult-like following, but recently I think Houston just opened one. The line was just like out the wazoo. All their ingredients are fresh from a local distribution center that they have. So I believe nothing is ever frozen. It's same day inventory. Whatever gets sent out via truck is what they use that day. And in terms of its business operations, it's still private family owned. Um, it's not a franchise, they aren't public. And this is because they believe in the consistency and quality of their product. Oftentimes when a business grows too rapidly, you lose that quality, right? Props to them for that. So it's mainly, the West Coast, some of the Southwest, and we have a couple locations here in Texas. 10, 39. That's honestly crazy. So two cheeseburgers with all the toppings and two fries for 10, 39. Uh, we did an online order for five guys and it's like $31. Okay, initial predictions. Which one you think is gonna be the best at its price point, flavor, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. I feel like In-N-Out might be the best one. Not gonna say who. But my roommate <laughs> thinks P. Terry's is overrated now and is just kind of trying to copy in and out But then again, he's a Cali boy. He's from California. So also biased. But we'll let Christine's mom decide. How are you? Good. And yourself? Very well. Thank you for asking. Woo! All right. in and out wins on this alone. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. Too. you. Happy holidays. So next up we have P. Terry's. Here's their menu. Check it out. So we're gonna do the same thing. Can we get two cheeseburgers? Okay. The price for the burgers and fries is pretty much identical. So this will come down to the wire. Quick history on P. Terry's. So P. Terry's here in Austin, a local favorite, started in 2005 by another couple, just like in and out Kathy and Patrick Terry's. And one time when I was actually apartment hunting here in Austin, I ran into a lady who was also checking up that complex out and she worked at the local P. Terry's and she was a fry cook and she was raving about it. And I was like, is this an act? But no, she legit was like, we got the best fries. They're made with, you know, they're made fresh. I believe she said there's some vinegar in the oil that they fry it in. And that's supposed to like give it its special flavor. Oh, so this is 1050. In and out was 10.39. Thank you. You too. We got it. Minus 100 points. <laughs> you wait so long. That smells incredible though. Oh, Let's go God. home, oh my God. Oh, we got our burgers, but I just realized something and I am freaking pissed off. So there's this guy. He only works one day, not even a day, one night in a full calendar year but everyone loves him so freaking much and I don't understand why. Everyone's like, Santa, Santa, Santa. Oh my God. But you know what? This guy works 365 days in a year. 
And nobody shows him any love? Why? Explain. Where's the love for Isaiah? If you wouldn't mind hitting the like and subscribe <laughs> for more content like this, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you. Love you guys. I'm doing a taste test and it wrote, I'm doing a piss test. <laughs> <laughs> so we are doing a taste test. We have three different options for you. We want you to try all three fries, ketchup, burger, and you can describe what you're tasting, which one you like best, and at the end we'll rank them one, two, three. Which one looks most appetizing to you from the beginning? That one. This one? Mm. Okay. This is burger number one. First thought. Here is a fry. It's a little thicker than the other ones. This is the one we're eating first. Also, why did you want to eat burgers for dinner? Because I'm watching the show. They keep eating the burger, so I want some. <laughs> <laughs> My mom kitchen. doesn't really eat American food. She's more into Asian food, so burger night has to be special. Special. <laughs> what do you think about fries? Next. Number two. Right down the line. So here's burger number two. Here's a fry. The meat is very dry. Oh. <laughs> Fries are really salty. One thing I noticed is the, um, the onions are all diced. It's like something missing, but I don't know what it is. Mmm. Mm. Leaves a little something to be desired. What about the fries? Better than the first one. Mmm. Mm. So the fries is better than the first one, but this burger is better than that one. Yeah. Okay. That burger was definitely a lot better. Mm -hmm. It was thicker. Meat tasted better. Fries, I'm undecided. Burger number one was better. I like those fries better. Burger number three. Mm. <laughs> hey. Perfect. That's. <laughs> this one not bad. Not bad. To me this patty is harder. This patty tastes better. Otherwise they're so similar. No thanks. What the heck is this? <laughs> she threw the fry on the table. Dang! <laughs> I think we know what the worst fry is. Okay, so we'll start with fries. Fries, do we have a unanimous loser? Okay. Number one, fry. Three, two, one, point. <laughs> All right, unanimous. So number one, number two, number three, let's do burgers and then the reveal. Okay. Least favorite burger on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> number two, one, two, three. Wow. So worst fry is in and out Second fry is Five Guys Burgers and Fries. The thick ones, the thick daddies. At number one, we have P. Terry's. <laughs> Cheers to P. Terry's. P. Terry's was last. In and out, number two. Five Guys, number one. So, is the price for Five Guys justified? Five Guys was twice as expensive and as took In and Out. Twice. And took twice as long. There you have it. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Let me work it. Bye! Shikura! Mom, let's go in. Wait, wait, wait. Do it again. Okay. Do it again. Chowayo. Woohoo! Yes, we got it! <laughs>